On April 11th, 1994, Sister Frances and Sister Maggie were the first fans through the gate. The game started at 3.05, but it was delayed for 50 minutes because of rain. Before the Rangers came up to bat in the bottom of the first, if you were there, you remember the clouds cleared and the sun came out and it put a sparkle on one of the most beautiful ballparks that I've ever seen. It's always a full house on opening day. You know, hopes and expectations are always there. This is my, I think, 48th opening day I've been to, if they've had that many. I was on the ground crew back then. A good guy named Joe Sullivan was our ticket manager and talked to him over the winter and I said, hey, Joe, you need any help in the ticket office? And that's how I ended up here and been here ever since. I get paid to have fun, so I can't beat that. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to Globe Life Park in Arlington and opening day 2019. Here we go. It is baseball time in Texas. The ballpark has been like an old friend. It's been a place of hope, a cathedral or temple for the faithful of Rangers baseball. Together, we celebrate our moments and memories of Globe Life Park. One of the best memories I have with, with family was I brought my son here. What was crazy was when the planes flew over for the uh, pregame flyover. Where are they? There they are. Yeah, baby! He was so bad, he started crying. But him crying made all the people around us start crying, so that's one of those little unique memories I have of family here. Hey, nothing like it. There's nothing like it. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Six to one, the Rangers lead in the top of the ninth. Here comes the pitch. Breaking ball, strike three call! The Rangers are going to the World Series! To win the pennant the first time uh, on October 22nd, 2010, and Alex Rodriguez struck out against Neftali Feliz. The fireworks are going, the confetti's falling through the, the sky in the ballpark. It doesn't get any better than that. But then all the individual accomplishments, I mean, the Kenny Rogers perfect game, Rafael Palmero's 500th career home run, Adrian Beltre's 3,000th hit. Anytime you get to see something like that and be a, a small part of it is pretty cool. And then the other thing that's happened to me is sometimes it's at the ballpark, sometimes it's away from the ballpark, is to run into a lot of baseball fans and they talk about their memories, the things that they've seen here and experienced here. And that's pretty special too. We actually came to watch Pudge get in the Hall of Fame, but in the seventh inning he waited for Pudge and he got down and proposed to me. So that's probably my most treasured memory here at the park. I was here for the Kinsler cycle for uh, Sosa 600, Beltre, I've been here for a lot of them. I am proud to announce officially that nobody in a Texas Rangers uniform will ever wear the number 29 again. I want to thank you, the fans, for supporting me, supporting our organization, and always be there for us. George, I found him one day here. He adopted me. He and I have been buds for the last 10 years, been hanging out here. Joey Gallows, kids, Elvis, all the great players over time. A lot of history since 94. There's so much history we've had in this ballpark and so many great times. We're gonna miss that, so. I thought before this happened that I thought I could make it through some of the announcements, but uh, it was a little bit tougher than I thought, especially introducing Nolan Ryan. And then uh, when I watched uh, home plate leave the ballpark, that was a pretty emotional moment. 
I hope we did a good job, because that's what this ballpark deserves. I mean, I'm going to miss this park. I have a ton of memories, but yeah. We love this park, but we can't wait to see the new one and uh, get some shade. We're looking forward to the shade. It's exciting. You know, the thing I tell everybody, all of those things that we've experienced here are gonna go with us because they're right here.